What happened? I'm on. You're on. Sure. Your color? Uh, I mean, I'm the dude. Me. Just don't want to get sharp. There's been a lot of sharks. With some little. Holy cow! What would you call these? There you go. Lures. Oh. Attractive. Fish attraction. Fish attraction. Okay. Oh, are you excited? Welcome to episode two of Howl's Hook. <laughs> I was gonna say Pulley Ridge again. Fishing trip on the Yankee Caps. Today in this video, we are going to be fishing with the Jig Pro eye drop jig. We're gonna show you guys how to use one of these because the first time we used it, we actually used it wrong. Yeah, I think I think I gotta tell my story. We still caught fish on it. Here, Amanda. The very first eye drop jig I used. I have it right here. You ready? I see it. This eye drop jig. And if fishing was slow, I was like, I'm gonna try this thing. And I was jigging it as if I was slow pitch jigging. And I caught some yellow eyes, but nothing really impressive. I was excited about it because it was cool. Like, look how cool this thing is. Well, it worked. It worked. Totally worked. Then we start talking to our friends at Jig Pro and like the owner of Jig Pro, George, was like, yeah, that's not how you use it. And he was like, I'm glad it worked for you, but that's not how you use it. We had no idea we were using it wrong. So the whole purpose of this video is to teach you guys how to use the eyedrop jig. We like the eyedrop jig because you can use it on any rod and reel. You don't have to have a slow pitch rod. You can use a spinner, a bottom rod, conventional, whatever you want. That's why we like this jig. My name is Emily, Amanda's behind the camera. This is Kona and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. First things first on the eyedrop jig is, as you can see, can you see that the line goes through the jig? Yep, nothing fancy. And there's a uni knot tied yep. to the hook setup down here with some little, what would you call these? Lures, um, attractants, fish attractants. Fish attractants. Okay, so with the eyedrop jig, the fun, fun part about it is you don't need any special gear. So today we're just using our do-it-all rod. Do it all spinning rod. I'm just gonna literally drop this down on our do it all spinning rod. This is a 15 to 30 pound rod. 200 gram jig. 200 gram jig. We're gonna set it I all think the way down in. How many feet of water? I think we're like 250 feet of water, yeah. maybe 300. So we're yeah. gonna set it all the way down. Here we go. And what's cool about it, if you put it on a spinner, it's probably really easy to cast out. Oh, yeah. If I wanted to cast it that far, I could. I don't really need to here, though. So, Amanda. Yes. How do we know when we hit bottom? I will tell you. So, you see how the line is rapidly flying out. That means we have not hit bottom yet. See how the line is stopping? on yep. its own, that That's means bottom. we've hit bottom. You see how it's slack. So now, to use this jig, what are we doing? We just reel. Reel, <laughs> slow retrieve. Slow retrieve. Hence why you slow can use it on any setup. Retrieve, That's it. So you can use it on a slow pitch rod, just any rod and reel that you can slowly reel on, which is literally So I'm gonna do a nice reel. little retrieve on this jig, and maybe I'll get 10 or so cranks in. We'll drop it back down to the bottom and put it back on the bottom because you still want to be on bottom or close to bottom for right. this jig Right, still the same concept Same as concept slow as a jigging. slow pitch jig. You want to be close to bottom, on bottom, or targeting snappers, groupers, muttons, whatever's down there. Maybe even, you're not going to catch a tuna, tuna right now, but basically whatever's down at the bottom. Slow retrieve, wait for the bite. It's that simple. And because simply just a slow retrieve and the lure is doing, the lure, the jig is doing all the work, it doesn't matter what rod you're using. So I'll drop it back down. Make and sure we're in time, bottom. Still do a slow retrieve, but maybe pick the speed up a little. Yeah, we'll pick it up. Maybe do All right, let's, one slow, one let's really try. slow, and then two slow. Slow retrieve. Slow retrieve. Just like that. And we wait for the bite. Here we have Kona. She's got a pile of ice, some water. She's on a pet cooling mat. That's a cooling mat that she's choosing to sit halfway on. And she's just hanging out with us. What do you think, Kona? Think we're gonna catch fish? I hope so. We're here. Oh, whoa. We're what here. We have? Whoa. Nice mutton. Nice wow. mutton. Nice one. So we know that the muttons are here. Now you gotta get a mutton snapper. I just want anything. Preferably on the eyedrop jig. Preferably on the eyedrop jig. Let's do this. Reeling up, changing the speed a little bit. Going a little quicker. Still slow. This isn't like high speed vertical jigging. It's still slow pitch jigging. Guys? Yes. I think I have a fish on. Okay. But it's, oh, it's there? It's there. I think so. We gotta put it on. Okay, we're gonna do this the spin. Way. 
Right, Amanda? Here we go. And for those of you, and we've already said it, but this is the doodle rod, which we recently caught some permit on. What do we have going on over here? I see color. Ah. Uh, I see tangles. All right. False alarm. Right. False Not alarm. quite a fish. A fish, but now we know what I was feeling and why I felt so weird. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Amanda, I had a bite. I heard it. Oh. What, what just but, happened? Switched anglers? Switched yes. the luck up? Yeah. Emily just had a bite. Guys, I mean, I'm the jigging queen between the two of us. Let's you are real. the jigging queen. What, how fast are you reeling? Um, I'll show you in a sec. All right, I was just doing this. Let's see it. Okay, that's kind of as fast as that I was going. Steady. And then somebody just whacked it. And then the reel screamed and then it just- Also, you off. might want to check the drag on that reel because it feels very loose. Really? Yep. No, it's good. I mean, it's maybe I tightened a little bit, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's really loose. All right. Eating her ice, it's her favorite to do. Lay down and lick some ice. What happened? I'm on. You're on. Tell us on. what the bite was like. Um, very much just like when you're slow pitching and it's just like a slow load. Okay, bait guesses, not bait guesses, catch guesses. Definitely some type of bottom species. Definitely some type of grouper or snapper, like a mutton. And none definitely of this. not a tuna. Definitely not a kingfish. And none of this was done on a slow pitch rod, which is what's kind of cool about it. Yep. Because we can do it on a regular rod, whatever you have. And honestly, this thing's fighting good. Really? Whatever it is, yeah. There's size to it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like, oh yeah, ooh. I need to, there we go. Do you want to cush it? I think I'm okay. Just need to get my leverage going, you know? Lift up, reel down, lift up, reel down. There you go. It's definitely acting grouper-like. Grouper-like? It's acting, or mutton snapper-like. Well, you know? we've been catching a lot of muttons right now, so. It's probably a mutton, if it's anything like what everyone else has been catching. Ooh. Just don't want to get sharks. There's been a lot of sharks. There. See color. We see color. Bet you it's a mutton. All right. I think it's a mutton, Amanda. What is it? We can't really see the color yet, because we got quite a bit of a glare going on. Whoa! <laughs> it's a grouper! I don't know. We will see. Keep reeling, Emily. That's a big grouper. Holy cow. Red, let some line out. Big red grouper, Emily. Big red grouper. It's okay. Big red yeah. grouper. Yes. All right. On the eye drop jig. Wow. On the eye drop. Look at this. Look Holy cow. Look at, Look at that. We got a little tangle with everybody else, but that's okay. Come on, are you excited? Are you excited? What is it? It's a big red grouper. I'm so excited. Like the last time I caught a fish on the eye drop jig was a little snapper like this big. I had no idea we could catch fish that big on that. Me either. So, I was very shocked. It's um, You didn't even look like you were struggling to reel that thing in either. Well, that's the thing was that I was able to use like a really nice rod for it. Versus really? slow pitch jigging, you definitely you can't really pump and crank. You got to like sit there and just whine, you know? So Kind of uh, went well, through some, went through a little. Uh, well, it was surgery. like I had to go through surgery. It was like a five. So yes. What was it? A five rod reel yes. tangle. So I don't know if you guys could tell, but when this thing came up, it was tangled in like five other lines. It's okay. Good news is we have so, plenty more hooks. Yes. And we have replacements, so we had to do a little bit of surgery to get it off. But I mean, this was the 200 gram eye drop jig, Jig Pro eye drop jig. Let's cool. check out this fish, Amanda. Yes. Time to weigh our large red grouper. Go ahead, maybe put it, does it work there? Yeah, I think it's, it's gonna, gonna work. work there. All right, what are we at? You tell me. 15, gonna, I'm gonna 15. say 15. We're gonna call it a 15, 15 pound, pound red grouper. Red grouper. This thing on the eye drop the jig. jig. This thing is massive. Nice job, Emily. Thanks, Amanda. Let's get him on some ice, take a pretty photo with him and get our little fish tag on it. Put your tag. Put in the tag. On. In the gill. The fish, well in the gills, right there. And that way, the mates can come over, staple our tag to the gills, and we can take this guy home. Maybe make some grouper cheeks. Yay. Oh, lots of muttons in there. Okay, Amanda. Yes. So we proved yes. that the eye drop jig is, its I mean, that thing's killer. Well, that was way bigger of a fish than I, I know. ever cared to catch. Right? On that jig. I, I was, was not thinking, expecting that. Oh, I'd be happy with a mutton. I mean, let me be honest. Here, let me take this out. Check this out, guys. The first time I saw an eye drop jig and I saw these little hooks, I mean, I was like, there's no way. There's just no way. But clearly, I mean, 
we were wrong. Like this thing is awesome. And this is another, this is a little extra hooks that I have. So I can take these hooks, I can even make some match. See this one's gold, I love this one. This one's gold and black, gold on gold. And then we have, I'm here. using the purple. Oh. I'm, I'm using a blue and like pink one Yours right is, now. no, yours is like rainbow. Mine reminds me of birthday cake. Birthday cake? Yeah. Okay. And then the one that I caught that big group on is orange and green with the orange and green. Go little, Canes. Go Canes. But because we had to, like I said, do some surgery to get untangled. So unfortunately we kind of had to cut that. The good news is I have some extra hooks. So I could always use the colorful rainbow sprinkled hooks with the orange and green eye drop jig. Next drop with the Jig Pro eye drop jig. I changed out the hooks for the rainbow hooks because those last ones got pretty destroyed. So here we go, dropping it down. Hopefully we can land another fish. So how we're gonna know we hit the bottom. You guys can watch that line go so fast. It's just going, free falling. Keep watching it, keep watching it. We're going down to 200 feet of water. Two Captain Greg just came on and said we gotta reel up. Um, That's such a bummer. <laughs> All right, next spot, here we come. I'm, I got something going on over here. All right, we got there a situation go. and I, I'm definitely on. So whoever has that, I think I'm on. I think I got a sand tile, Amanda. I think I'm on too though. Maybe we doubled up on sand tiles. I'm on. I'm 100% on. on. I'm thinking sand tile though, something small. Oh. Oh. What is it? It's a sand it's tile. tile. We didn't catch fish. We got just caught a little. Tile. So here we go. We caught a sand tile. Sand tile in the boat. Check that out. It hold the sand tile, Amanda. Let's yes. shove one sand tile. The eye drop jig. The eye drop jig. Caught a sand tile. Yes. And a red grouper. And a red so, grouper. Sand tiles are. A bunch of different a names. species of a wrasse. Species of wrasse. And which they supposedly resemble the taste of hogfish. Which I've well, we've had them before. Different. Yeah. So we did a catch clean cook sand tile. You're right, we did. The last time we fished in Pulley Ridge. You're right, we did. And our opinion was that at the end of the day, guys, fresh fish is fresh fish. Tastes good. You guys can see that blown up ball blurb coming out of it. <laughs> or uh, gill. And that is his stomach. And basically what happens is he blew up, it pressurized when Amanda reeled up so quickly. Cause this thing lives in what, 200, 300 feet 200 of water. Feet of water. And basically what happens, just like when you're scuba diving, air expands as the fish rises. So the air expands inside the fish. Hence, and it looks like that. The belly of the sand tile. Let's de-hook our fish. That was easy. There we go. And you see my, what I would call birthday cake jig. It's the birthday because cake Because to me, it looks like a rainbow. I mean, it's birthday beautiful. cake. It's a rainbow. It's this is the 200 gram. 200 grams. I drop jig pro jig. A sand tile on it. I mean, that thing's beautiful. Is that it's not beautiful or what? Absolutely beautiful. Love it. And then the one that I use that I caught the grouper on. Here it is. This is the one that I have. Bright green and orange. I mean, these things are so cool. Do you love them? That is going to be how you jig with an eye drop jig. It's very simple and straightforward. It actually originated in Japan. Japan. So That's can so we simple. see this jig one more time? Oh yeah, that looks so really good. So you can really see good. how the mono goes right. It's a super, super simple rig. easy. I don't even need to do it for you guys. The mono or floral goes straight through the eye drop. This is 200 grams. And straight, and you just tie you knot on your hook setup. What pound, what pound floral do we have, Amanda? I mean, we are actually using mono, 50 but... pound mono out here. Well, the whole purpose of this technique was that you don't need special gear. You don't have to go buy a slow pitch rod. You don't have to go buy narrow reels you can literally use whatever setup you want we were literally using our well, do-it-all used, rod and then i was also using a slow pitch rod so we caught one on the do-it-all rod on the do-it-all do rod yes i caught a tile fish and we actually caught a barracuda as well yeah the barracuda the unfortunately barracuda did not make, get the camera, out, get the camera out fast enough because we caught him while we were reeling on the way up so that is how you fish with an eye drop jig and you guys know these are the jig pro jigs we personally went to George's house. He showed us how he builds everything. I mean, he literally does all of this out of his garage. But it's such a great business and he really puts a lot of thought into every single jig, tests them out, looks at them in the swimming pool before going out into the ocean, does tons of testing. So we're just super excited that he said, hey, take these to Pulley Ridge. That's the eyedrop jig. Guys, we hope you enjoyed episode two. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for episode three. Get out there, stay safe and have fun.